Hey there, everybody. Don Evans here for WatchReport.com. And today I have something very, very interesting. I've been waiting a long time to get this watch in for review because this watch took a long time to make. Initial prototypes and renderings of this watch were shown way back in 2019. We are now in November of 2020. Uh, I just got my hands on it a few weeks ago. So as of course the title, this is the Grupo Gamma Nexus. And this is a very interesting piece, especially, I mean, it's just an interesting piece in general. As you can see, time is very different on this. Uh, telling the time is very different. You have those wandering hour hands and dial. And what's really different here is it's a departure for what Grupo Gamma normally does. Grupo Gamma, you can go back and look at a bunch of reviews that we have done on watchreport.com and the channel here. But they're usually a lot less complicated, more simple, tool-style, utilitarian-style watches. This one with the wandering hours is very different. It's coming in at $800, but let's go ahead and get to the specs page and then show you and talk more about this very cool watch from Grupo Gamma. All right, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you for finding our channel and website. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you already haven't. That way you never miss any of our content. If you want to see what we have coming in for review before you see it here on the channel and website, head over to our Instagram page. It is at Watch Report. So there's a lot to talk about here with this group of Gamma Nexus. And as you may know, I like to keep our video is a little bit shorter these days, so if I miss anything or anything that I don't discuss here, you're going to want to head over to watchreport.com. Of course, I will have that linked in the description below and a link to the Grupo Gamma website. Now, I'm recording this actually be right before Black Friday, and I tried taking a look online to see if there was going to be any deals or discounts on this watch. I did not find any, but depending on when I publish this review, I hope to have it published by Black Friday or uh, through the weekend. Uh, you may want to check out their website to see whatever kind of deals or promotions they are having. As it sits, it's $800. You saw the movement, you saw the specs. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to discuss some of my things and my favorite things about this watch and some of the things that uh, make it not exactly a watch for me. Now, I want to be very clear about this. This is watchreport.com. We are a review channel. I do real and honest reviews here. So right off the bat, just because I say this watch isn't for me does not mean it's not a watch for you. That's just me saying and telling it how it is. I think what you have here obviously is a very unique piece. Obviously these, you know, the, the wandering hours is very different for telling time. You don't have a running second hand at all. Uh, telling the time is just, you know, it's a little bit different than the norm. And if you're not familiar with how to set the time, of course you're gonna pop the crown there at the six o'clock position and you're going to move it and, and set the time just like you would normally. But as you can see, you have your minutes on the outside of your dial there and your hours are controlled by that wandering hour hand. And you could see as I go around there on the dial, you could see as soon as it hits the 12 o'clock, you know, you see it change 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. So that is how you will set your time. So it's almost like when you look at it and you're trying to tell the time at a quick glance, it, it almost feels like a digital watch to me in some respect. I know that may sound weird or odd to you, but you know, just versus when I look at a watch, I really don't look at the numbers or markers on a dial really. I just see the hands and you know, you're just conditioned to know, oh, it's 9.30, it's 10 o'clock, whatever. It's a little bit different here. You actually have to look you know, for the numbers and of course, 
this is not a watch that's going to be super accurate either because when you go and look at it, you know, you know exactly what hour it's going to be. You're not exactly going to know what minute it's going to be. So let me go ahead and discuss where the inspiration for this watch came from for Grupa Gamma. Grupa Gamma has long been known to do uh, homages, if you will, and been inspired by watches of the past, vintage Panerai, vintage Rolex, etc. So this comes from a Panerai depth gauge, which was not actually a watch, but it was a tool that divers would wear. So you take that and now you transplant that into a watch. Now I put up on the screen there pictures uh, from um, a couple of different websites, actually. I believe they're vintagepanerai.com though, but I'll have it uh, linked correctly on the photos that show you what that actual depth gauge looked like. And you could see very, very similar looking uh, style dial and, and hand and everything. And that's where they took that inspiration from. So translated into a watch, I, I think that's, for me, it's just this setup of this specific wandering hours and time and that crown at the six o'clock position with that articulated lug it's just not exactly for me. It is unique, and I, I do find it comfortable on the wrist. The leather strap is nice. Grupo Gamma usually produces a very nice leather strap. I'm not a huge fan of this style of buckle. Never really have been. It sits very flat against the wrist. But again, very subjective there. You have a very, very high box sapphire crystal on this. And what I really want you to take notice of is just how deep that dial is, how thick the dial is, and that hour hand, you can really, really see just what kind of complication this watch is to uh, fit all into the case and everything like that. So very cool in that respect. Some of the things though, I mean, this, you know, is modeled after a depth gauge, something that divers would wear, yet very low water resistance, and of course, you do not have a screw down crown. Now, it comes to you on a leather strap as well, so obviously not really intended for any kind of diving activities. Uh, this is, you know, just more of a niche product and something cool to have and wear and look at. Uh, if I was to own one, it really wouldn't be something that I would wear on a regular basis. Maybe I would personally pull it out every now and then. You can be completely opposite from that, though, and want to wear this all the time and just have something very different on your wrist. And obviously, just like anything else, just like when you get into a new car these days and you have all the new touchscreens and the electronics and new shifter, rotary shifter knobs and dials and all this different stuff... You get used to it. You get used to anything by condition. You do it enough. Obviously, something like this, you can get very used to telling the time on this on your wrist. And if I haven't said it yet, so I will now, it's a very well-made piece. I've been reviewing Grupa Gamma watches for, I want to say, six, seven years now at least. Every watch gets better than the last. They do very well when it comes to building a watch. No doubt about it. Obviously, your $800 price point, some are going to complain that it's high. I don't really think that it's high, even with the movement that they used. And they went with that movement to keep costs down, actually. But you don't have a, you know, an actual running second hand, so you don't have to worry about that Miyota 8200 ser 80, series stutter or anything like that. You have a very nicely uh, uh, done case back and rotor. The whole watch, the whole package is very well made. It's a very nice watch. You know I'd tell you otherwise. Uh, the loom on it is excellent. It actually looks really cool, I gotta say. It does look really cool in the dark uh, with the loom and everything, the way this dial on the hand is. And I do think it is a very, just a very cool and unique piece and a fun piece uh, to talk about and everything. As far as just me wearing it on a regular basis, it's just not for me personally, but I really do like this. And, and listen, I have this all the time with, say, shoes or clothes or whatever. I could appreciate something for what it is, even if it's not for me. I think uh, we all should be able to do that and stand back and, and look at some just because you wouldn't wear it 
doesn't mean it's not cool. And that's where I'm landing with this Grupo Gamma Nexus. But I really like it, and I really like it in the direction of Grupo Gamma uh, taking a risk and building something and making something different than what they have done the past six, seven years. So if you want to see more about this, click that link in the description, take you over to watchreport.com. I'll have the link to the Grupo Gamma website as well as a bunch of other links down there. So always check out the description. I want to say thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you on the next one.